Chasing Dim Blues, formerly known as Grafton City Blues, is like an upgraded version of the uh, piece that we did, Kevin Ramsey's piece, which is a celebration of uh, Wisconsin's own like version of Paramount Records, where they were producing the songs of uh, like Alberta Hunter, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, and Louis Armstrong. And um, it's just this is really wonderful musical celebration of that time, with of course uh, a great local connection, which I think. Uh, a lot of people are completely surprised of that, you know, who would think in Grafton those major names were being produced and recorded in um, just down the road from us. It was the only recording studio at the time in America. They were recording artists, artists of color, eminent artists. So I think it's a, a fact that people both locally and afar having their jaws drop open. Um, and I think Kevin Ramsey discovered this for, uh, subject matter and kind of explored it and has created this beautiful musical celebration of that. And one of the things I think we've cultivated in the Stack and the Cabaret is this level of actor musicians, uh, quadruple threats, who come out there, sing brilliantly, play a dozen instruments. There's just something really exciting about seeing somebody sing an incredible standard and then they come out and play four instruments in the next within the next number and I think we've started to do that well we know our audience in there we know what they love this show completely delivers on all those promises